This map depicts the current heat wave conditions in the North Atlantic Ocean. Scientists are alarmed not only by the fact that marine heat waves are occurring so early in the season, but also because sea surface temperatures have risen 5 degrees Celsius above normal during June. This is the warmest they have been in more than 170 years for this time of the year. These temperatures are generally typical of August and September when oceanic waters are the warmest. Marine heat waves are defined as a period of persistent, anomalously warm ocean temperatures which can have significant impacts on marine life as well as coastal communities and economies. Marine heat waves are categorized from 1 to 5. While NOAA has registered the event as Category 4, there are some hotspots which are hitting Category 5 as well. The average sea surface temperatures hit 15 degrees Celsius around the UK Ireland coastal waters in June, which has happened only once before at the end of June 2009, according to Ben Knoll, a meteorologist at the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research, New Zealand. NOAA says that the heatwave conditions are likely to continue through August and there are 70-80% to 80 chances that they will continue till the end of the year. Warming sea surface temperatures also deplete the oxygen that aquatic animals need to survive. While the temperatures are not lethal yet, continuing heatwave conditions might lead to critical marine species like oysters, kelp and algae dying. In early June, thousands of dead fish washed up along the Texas Gulf Coast because of warming waters which was described as a low dissolved oxygen event. In 2021, when a heat wave was ravaging Canada, high sea surface temperatures killed half a billion shellfish in the country's west coast. While scientists agree that the underlying reason is high greenhouse gas emissions, there could be several other reasons as well. The El Nino's arrival coincided with the warming sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean, but it cannot be confirmed as the sole reason for the event. It is a classic combination of the underpinning of human-caused climate change with a layer of natural variation within the climate system on top, the UK Met Office said in a statement.